So I have a diverse practice. I am a partner at uh, Blake Castles and Graydon in Toronto. Uh, my practice includes complex commercial litigation, arbitrations, and some class action work. The focus uh, of my practice, or, or the niche, so to speak, really is the commercial arbitration work uh, that I've been involved in. Um, over the last five years, I have been acting for both national and international clients in, in a number of domestic international arbitrations. I started doing arbitration work about six years ago, and I remember that because um, I was pregnant at the time uh, with, with my son who just turned five. Um, the first arbitration I did, it, it wasn't something that I was um, looking out for, but there was a lot of commercial litigation work that I was doing for a client and they ended up having an arbitration clause in one of their contracts. Um, and there was a dispute that arose from that contract and given the familiarity that, that I already had with the client in the factual context, I ended up working uh, working on that arbitration, and, and I loved it. Um, I, I really enjoyed the international element associated with, with, with that. I like to think of legal problems as uh, business problems. I like to take a long-term view of things, and so focusing beyond sort of the specific dispute at hand to thinking about long-term impact and thinking about future value. And I, I think that's considered valuable by the clients because what it allows me to really do is focus on finding practical solutions. It helps me think about what can I do um, and how can I be strategic in terms of offering legal advice that is aligned with, with business goals. It allows me to think about, okay, we have this problem, we have this dispute, we're going to work on resolving this, but are there things that we can do to, to avoid that similar dispute in the future? Or um, are there things that we can do about the process so that if we can't avoid the dispute altogether, but you have a better, more efficient process uh, in the future? Over the last couple of years, uh, one of the things that I have been trying to do is make our profession more diverse and inclusive. And, and there are a couple of things that I've done um, on, that, on that front. Uh, for example, often uh, clients these days will ask us questions about these issues. And so I'm regularly involved in uh, presenting and organizing ally workshops and, and how we can foster a more inclusive workspace within different companies. Um, I also led and facilitated some workshops earlier this year in the arbitration community, which is 10 steps behind the litigation community right now on this issue, and, and I, uh, I facilitated workshops on unconscious bias. I am also a director of the South Asian Bar Association of Toronto uh, and a co-chair of the Advocacy Committee, and, and through that involvement, I've had, uh, I've had an, a, lots of opportunities to advocate on issues um, that are really important to the South Asian legal bar and the South Asian community.